All right. I think uh, technically speaking, we should be live. Tournament starting in 10 seconds. Uh, almost late as usual, but I gotta, I gotta confess, I did shower before the stream. I noticed uh, there was warm water, so without much thinking, I had to take the opportunity. So, uh, yeah, even with that, we may see some uh, dirty chess incoming. And here we go. D4. Facing against... Uh, facing a national master, basically. He starts the game in the most disrespectful way possible. Going for the London. Uh, at least he plays the normal one and not the Jabava. At least uh, some hopes for humanity. And, uh, okay. Is he actually trying to just uh, allow knight h5? Or he is just... Uh, Full of mambo jumbo. I'm just gonna go get the bishop. That's how you play this. He's gonna go bishop back and then knight d2. I expect this move. I'm gonna take and then I'm gonna play e5. Okay, never mind. Never mind. He should have really played that. Now, I could take, I could start bishop f5. Uh, both of these moves really make a whole lot of sense to me. I'm just gonna start here. Yeah, probably I could take, I don't know, I kind of like to be a naughty boy and delay it. Uh, hope the stream works uh, fine, by the way. You guys, uh, let me know. Okay. Knight B to D2. So this bishop usually goes to G6 and we're kind of chilling. This knight goes to like D7, uh, I think. Yeah. Played here. It shouldn't be slow as usual. And by the way, I don't know how the heck do we face a national master that is rated 500 points lower than us. <laughs> that is pretty unusual because I'm not the high rated guy in this tournament. Uh, apparently, if I beat this guy, I'm going to win uh, a single point. And if I lose, I'm going to lose uh, 15 that is uh, <laughs> quite a deal. Okay, King Castle, I can also play C5. I guess C5 makes sense always. If D5, sure, it's not like we get the active bishop, but on the other hand, we don't make a bit of progress, arguably. Mm. All right, give me that. I don't need a second chance, and I'm gonna get castle, got like the safest king in the world, got the bishop pair. This is looking, uh, yeah, not uh, as depressing as usual. Maybe I can take and then go with c8. Getting some uh, open files for them rooks. That would be pretty nice. Okay, a4. I'm gonna follow up my idea. Knight takes on d4 allows knight c5. So this I can play rook c8 and get the open file. This move is a little bit pointless. Just a little bit. Hmm. I can actually, uh, yeah, I was about to say even I can play queen b6. You're not the only one who has that move. Should I do it though? It's not always that if you can do something, you should do it. Hmm. Hmm. Not entirely sure about that, but they say to take the kids into the end games. I have no information whether my opponent is the kid or not, but based on his profile picture, uh, I don't know. <laughs> There was a chance until I read he offers lessons. Man, in this inflation, even kids may start coaching. You never know. Okay. All right, so his pawns are like really weak. I just need to kind of get rid of one of those knights. Problem is that g4, I can take, but he's going to win the g4 pawn. And I don't like that. I actually hate that fact. 
Yeah, I'm gonna play... Oh, can I just go knight f6, bishop d3? Huh, and then d5. Yeah, I think maybe that's the play. Knight f6, e5, though. Oh man, this is kind of rough. I'm running out of time. Not a good recipe. e5, I guess I'm gonna have to take it. And then play knight g4 in case he recaptures with the pawn. Bishop d3, essentially, I was thinking he's cooked after d5 because of the pin. That was like... The uh, mastermind plan. Although e5 was the more scary part. Which I still... Haven't really... <laughs> Came up with a serious move. <laughs> like every semi serious player would do. Yeah, e5 and the knight c4. Interesting for him. I really underestimated that idea. e5, I'm gonna play knight e4, but yeah, knight c4 is kind of annoying for me. Targeting this weak pawn. Although I can take on e5 and maybe make the argument that we open up for two bishops, but. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Uh, okay. Pawn is fairly weak. I'm going to play for knight d2. I'm just going to sack b6 and try to get some activity in return. So threatening fork and trying to undermine the pawn. As some famous streamers would say, <laughs> come on, bitch, blunder something. <laughs> there it was, without me even having to call it. Okay, rook c8, get a little pin. Oh, thank you. See, he listened. It's very nice when they listen to our commands. Okay, what a first rounder. Was this game, like, actually decent, or I was just doing nonsense like usual? Yeah, I mean, 93, but I told you uh, I was probably comfortably better, but then I caught worse position. I don't know what was my mistake. Yeah, so 92 was apparently an inaccuracy. Although, yeah, g4, bishop e5. Man, allowing knight h4, knight g6 was actually quite scary this whole time. I don't know who would play like that. But anyways, uh, we did take advantage of the foolish mistake and then uh, the rest was pretty self-explanatory. So we get the first round. Let me see if my stream works. Uh, Yeah, welcome everybody. I see. <laughs> I see you guys are in the chat. Just nonsense. Of course, it's just nonsense. <laughs> okay. All right. We're gonna have the white pieces in the next round. So, what opening uh, would you guys like to see? Let me know in the chat. Uh. I have not participated into the early title Tuesday, uh, Slim Agent. Nope, I didn't. I, I just feel like if I play title Tuesday uh, off stream, I'm cheating on you guys. I, I cannot do that. That just feels pretty filthy. Although maybe I should. Who said you are not watching any other channels and you are loyal? When did we <laughs> make that deal? Book to the Thief? Jobava? Wait, what is the Jobava and why do you guys want me to play it? Is that like an actual opening? Or do you want me to play against Jobava the player? I don't think he's in chess.com anymore. Vienna would be fantastic to see on high level. I'm sorry, but you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> What happened? Haven't Gotham started his stream yet. 
No, I'm kidding. I could play the Vienna, although I'm very rusty, so better not. My handling of the Vienna. It's probably like uh, whenever you touch a girl for the first time. <laughs> Definitely. You don't want to record yourself doing that. So, I guess I'll try this Jobava thing that you guys mentioned. I guess, I don't know. We'll have to give that a try. <laughs> when can we <laughs> expect the GM title from you? Ah, that's a good question. So if you guys been kind of like following the meta for the players below uh, 2000 ELO, actually everybody got like uh, an additional 100 rating. So people that were like 1600 are now 1700. Mm, don't ask me why. <laughs> that's just what happened. So if they do it for like higher rated players too, this means I would be only uh, five points away from Grandmaster, not 105. So that would be pretty convenient. All right, guys, uh, getting a game. Uh, stay in your little box. I'm going to be ignoring the chat. Uh, and all right, playing against an international master. We'll have to try this Joe Mama thing. I don't know what it is. That sounds pretty funny, so maybe we'll give it a try. Uh, okay. Some bullshit as usual. Uh, hmm. How about this? Ooh. Ooh. Not sure about allowing that. He's definitely supposed to block. When I get the pawn, it's kind of nice. <sighs> okay, this should be great, but how the heck are we supposed to proceed? Don't ask me. I'm not the master of this kind of thing. Okay, I was just going for the cheaper. Okay, <laughs> that was it. Now I'm clueless. Okay, there's a check. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. Okay, can I play knight f3? It takes knight d5. Play c5. Then I have a strong knight. Maybe I can gambit. Shall we just... Play the goofy one instead. Nah, let's go for it. <laughs> King E2. The bone cloud for the boys. Oh, he does not allow it. Damn it. It took so long for me to... Jump in the pool. Problem was that uh, the pool was empty, so... There is that. No more fun when the pool is empty. Okay, can I play knight D5? just want to activate like a madman. But I'm going to take a free pawn. I'm going to take a free pawn first. He goes there. He wants to take and then pick up this guy. So I shall defend. Okay. All right. I don't see how he wins back the pawn. This should be pretty nice. I could play knight d5. That would actually improve my pawn structure. And then on knight b4 I could castle. Yes. Let's go. I'm gonna take. And then castle is a brilliant move. I'm gonna sacrifice the a2 pawn. That was not a blunder. I'm gonna be sacrificing the a2 pawn. I'm gonna have a massive spatial advantage. Because of my pawns. And the fact that his pieces are completely uh, kind of fighting against each other also helps. Knight C, that is a horrendous move. He's so cooked right now. I should just not make a silly mistake. That is the only thing I gotta not do. Hmm. Okay. Do I just play Knight of Six and trade that shitty bishop of his? But in, on the other hand, I'm opening my dark square bishop, so I'd rather have a happy bishop than just laugh at his sad bishop. It's not about laughing at your enemies. It's about the happiness in your family. I guess that's what life is all about. Okay, we're gonna take massive threat. He may play rook e8, just attacking this, but I could play e5. 
I could really just play e5. I could also just defend. Defending is actually probably even better. I could also do rook h4. Ah, rook h4 is clever. This is so clever. He has to take and then I'm gonna defend. And I managed to get rid of that annoying bishop. If he retreats, then that's usually a bad sign. He has to retreat though. Giving this would be too primitive. <gasps> he goes for it. Knight d6. I can take twice. I don't want to sacrifice the exchange. I can actually take twice. I shouldn't be overthinking this. It's an obvious good move. I can get this bishop in. And then bishop d7. He may have blundered that. He's going to play rook c8, missing this. And then I'm going to get bishop d7. Are we doing it? Come on, opponent. Blunder something, bitch! Bishop d7. What am I missing? It looks completely winning. It looks completely winning. What am I missing? I gotta go for this. I shall not get made it in one move. And we should be able to... Get it. Can I just play b3? Okay, b3. Yes, go. Check king b2. This pawn is about to drop. Rook d6 I could take. Could also play e5 to open up the path for the other rook. Or I could start attacking these pawns. Yeah, this is good. He's gonna try the mating net, but he's not gonna be in time. Because I have rook e5 and then I take. Okay, this is looking good. What? He wants a3. Ah, this is so bad. It should not work. This does not work. I just gotta keep it together. So take and rook back. Should be good. Rook back should be good. Covering the mate. And I just need to do this. Uh, okay, rook a5, yes, he is in a resignable position, I think, yes, okay, can I defend, I could also play rook d1 and play for a checkmate, this move is actually brilliant, because if he takes, he's gonna have back rank issues, oh, I missed that, but no, I have rook c5, rook c5, rook c5, ah, what to do now, rook d3, not a lot of time, but rook d3 is clever, I think, then I just want this. And now back rank. Blunder something, bitch! Yeah, he's in the mating net. Look at that! Ooh. I never played such a good game, I swear. I never played such a clean end game. Maybe I'm cheating. I'm kidding. That's probably horrendous. That's probably horrendous. Okay, opponent's got to throw in the towel. What is he gonna do? This rook is teasmed out. Look at this king! When is the last time he saw the king blocked by two pawns? He's like, he would like to make a luft, but there is no luft with these pawns. There is actually no uh, luft with those pawns. Ah, got an 87. I think uh, it was pretty clean. Considering <laughs> the... Bullshit opening we had. We're kind of both freestyling since here. I was expecting him to check. I was like, bro, you gotta check. What the hell? He didn't check and just made me play with a king on e2. I was down. I was down. Uh, I was down for such things, but he decided against it. So, okay. Then I think the end game was very good. Like, I was thinking he should. Uh, he will probably try this. But I thought he won't be in time. He's, he has like one mating net possible to do that and then mate me. But I had e5 and when, okay, this happens, it's checkmate. But also I had this idea to take. Okay. That was nice. That was nice. Blunder something, bitch. It is my favorite line indeed. <laughs> that is one of my favorite lines. You gotta say that constantly, whenever you feel like the position is unclear, as long as you scream that quote, it's proven that uh, the universe is gonna work in your favor. Are you competing in any official tournaments uh, soon? Okay, so here's the thing about that. I actually had it planned to ask you guys. Uh, there's actually an event this weekend. Uh, there's an event uh, here in Bucharest, in my home city. And I believe, I haven't even checked the time control. 
I believe it's like a rapid event. My coach uh, announced me of it today. Um, I told him that probably I'm not going to play, but I should go there to take some pictures. Just because uh, the last pictures <laughs> taken from when I was playing over the board, it's like five years ago. And the Chisable guys uh, asked me for it. I should have some... Uh, you know, pictures with me playing chess, I guess. <laughs> I'm like the international master who was never spot <laughs> playing a chess game. <laughs> That's kind of the story of my life. <laughs> I got my title, but nobody ever saw me playing a game in real life. That's how I feel like. It's kind of a weird feeling, but hey, it also makes me special. So there is that. I'd love to see you in that event. So the thing is, okay, I would probably just take some uh, photos and uh, it could be interesting uh, to kind of test the Jobava London over the board as well. So, you know, considering it's probably like a nine uh, round tournament, I might be getting four or five white games. And yeah, probably like Three of them going to be against weaker players and maybe two against interesting players. Okay, black pieces, get a focus. Uh, you guys, chill. I'm going to have to perform. All right, let's see. This is scary. Okay, he's going to play E4. I'm going to go Karo Khan. Oh, damn. I'm out of book. I'm going to go C5. Uh, he took it. This pretty player. You shall not be disrespectful against the Grandmasters. Who is this guy, by the way? Yeah, so he's Quesada Perez, I think. Immigrants. Uh, okay. Bishop g4. e6. Can I play knight f5? So this is where you go g5. I think it's pretty clever. Somebody may have recommended this in a good Karo Khan course at some point. I don't remember who it was, though. Probably a guy with a weird accent. Uh, so I never remembered this part. So e6, I'm threatening this, and then I'm threatening queen back. Like winning back the pawn. That's my line. He literally played the only kind of <laughs> bad line for white, I feel like. That's how I'm feeling at the moment. So now I can take and then go queen a5, pick up one of the pawns. I can also try to gambit. With h6. Am I ever concerned about g6? No, I think we just take and we should be pretty solid. So I think you play kind of like a Benko Gambit, but on the other side of the board. <laughs> That's kind of ironic. Mm. Okay, g6, yeah, I think I'm taking. I don't think that's scary because I just get bishop g7 on castle. I have safe king. Okay. We shall see about that, I guess. He did exactly what I was saying he's not supposed to do. Uh, I mean, I warned him. Oh, isn't that a free pawn? Am I, like, hallucinating? This almost feels too good to be true. Can't I just take? He plays queen e2, I go bishop g7. Am I on drugs? Huh. Wow. Hmm, queen b3. Take that. Hmm. This is very confusing. But on the other hand, I'm pretty sure it's good for us, despite it being confusing. Hard to decide. My instinct initially wanted queen d7, but I guess protecting that cannot hurt. Uh, g4. Can I just go bananas and sack? No, there's queen b5, probably. Nah, I cannot go bananas and sack. Can I fianchero the knight? <laughs> probably shouldn't fianchero the horse against the GM. It's just gonna be laughing at that. Is it this or that knight? Oof, so many questions, so little time. So this one is more loose, but more aggressive. But I think I want to play tight. Just because... 
and crapping my pants playing against the GM. That's basically it. Uh, okay, here. Castle. Castle next. Plunder something, bitch. Okay. That's a threat. That may be a threat. He's gonna play bishop g1, though. Ah, bishop g3. So he wants to take my queen. That's not nice of him. Queen d7, I'm pinned. He's gonna play like knight f3 next. That's what he wants. Maybe I'm just gonna go queen c8 instead. Huh. The tricky, tricky, tricky. Mm, not a lot of time on the clock. Oh, can I actually play e5? So weakening. But could work. Strangely enough. Could actually work. Oh, fuck. Come on, make a move. If it doesn't work, it is what it is. Oh, I just realized it doesn't work. Damn it. Damn it. That's a little awkward. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I just played the worst move on the chessboard. Yeah. That was silly of me. I'm just like a tempo short. I thought queen c, but knight f3 looked unpleasant, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm just like... Seeing ghost, I should have played queen c8 probably and just, I'm better, but now I'm losing a pawn, so. That kind of sucks. Whenever you are losing a pawn against a gun and master, not a good sign. These GMs can convert a game or two. Hmm. I don't know what this move does, I'm just trying to like unpin and have some pressure. What? Wait. What is this? <sighs> so low in time. So low in life. <laughs> That's the more annoying part. Okay, knight d4. Uh, it's gonna take it. Please don't hurt me. Come on, blunder mate in one bitch. No, he didn't. Uh, he's gonna take now. Oh no. No, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, it was a nice ride, guys. It was a nice uh, ride. But there it goes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I did go wrong. So knight d2. Yeah, apparently in order to actually get a good position, I was supposed to play the more like uh, simple approach and uh, regain the pawn. Then I have good compensation, but I just went to uh, full sacrificial mode and apparently g6 was a great decision by him. So I may have underestimated the position, but yeah. Okay. I, I I knew I just won bishop g7 castle, and like the fact that I could play knight d4 is more important, but I, I I said it. It was too good to be true. Then I was in trouble. Queen b3 was actually a good find. Yet again, I'm supposed to just sacrifice a pawn. Jesus. But to me, it still felt like queen c8 was more or less okay, but it isn't. Uh, because of bishop d6 and I'm like really in trouble here. Yeah, I had one moment to get a good opening. It's a pity though because uh, I haven't fully booked up. So this line is kind of difficult uh, to play. This is uh, what I recommend in my course, but it's kind of difficult uh, to play, especially against, you know, <laughs> very strong players in blitz down upon you. Gotta be precise. The thing is, this is just amazing, below like 2400, because very few people like actually know this thing, uh, and in like lower rated games, 
you can easily um, win back the pawn. I apparently may have messed up the line too. There is a decent chance I was supposed to play it this way. With some g5 now. Yeah, that could also be true. But I knew that there is always this g5 idea on bishop e3. I, I like that I played it. Yeah. I'm just looking at it with a chess.com computer, which is not very strong. So yeah, kind of my plan would be... I don't know if uh, I'm gonna, like, completely change from playing this um, against high-low players, but I was, like, considering to go back into trying to memorize uh, this kind of line that takes uh, a million of moves that goes... Uh, how does this go? I already got confused. Yeah, it goes this and then it goes knight c6. And there's like so much fury in this poison pawn. It's actually insane. I already forgot how it goes. I'm pretty sure it goes takes and then queen b1. Wait. What am I like confusing this with? Hmm. Why do I have a feeling knight b5 c4 is actually good for black? Yeah, no. That's the line, yeah. I'm pretty sure queen b1 is the move there. No? What am I missing? Guys, chatters. You guys are the experts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I may know what it is. The line goes like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, I've been playing this like a few years ago and it, it worked out great. I was trying to play the Erwin Lamy line. I just uh, cannot really recall what it was <laughs> for some reason. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, this one I'm talking about. I don't know why I had some queen b1 in mind. Okay. Fuck. I just lost uh, 30 seconds. We're going to go Karo Khan. If he plays e5, I'm going to do the same line. I mean, we're, we're going to give it another try. Because I haven't <laughs> memorized the other one. But against anything else, I'm pretty confident. I made the draw against uh, Kirill Alexenko in another title Tuesday here. So bishop g4. Queen here, h3 bishop back, knight e2 I take, pretty straightforward. I feel good about these positions, uh, yeah, still just bishop back I believe, f3 kind of dodgy. That may be a thing, so I'm gonna play knight c6 first and then uh, bishop there. Not sure who my opponent is. He may be some kind of prodigy. My YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Probably gonna be part of a YouTube video. <laughs> okay. No pressure. Um, just wanna trade play e6. Pretty comfortable position. Oh, castling on that side. Interesting. Just wanna develop. This one's way more solid than the previous one. <laughs> I gotta be honest, this one feels a little better. May still lose, but it's kind of easier. So I could just play simple move, but I could also try to be frisky. Hmm. No, I'm just gonna be very solid. You guys know me. I'm the most solid YouTuber. In town. Uh, okay, I can castle. I can try to keep an attack. How do we play this one? Let's just play simple. No uh, nonsense attack. I'm just going to play minority attack next. Rook b8, b5. Going for the fundamentals. Okay. 
Bam. Bam, b5. b4, I want to take and soften that pawn. If a4, I'm going a6. Yeah, so he's going for that, but the problem is doesn't understand that there will be no attack on his side. So, that is that. He's hoping, like, it's not a bad thing to hope. But on the other hand, we are going to be quicker. And I honestly don't mind it. We really need a win. Uh, okay, I can go knight a5, knight c4 simply. And if he takes, I'm going to have a clear uh, permanent uh, target, the backward pawn. Yeah, he's probably going to take because it's annoying. And uh, this is a backward pawn because it basically can never advance. Like, even if you play b4, I can ampass on. Knight f4. He's definitely hoping for some h5 at some point. Uh, I was hoping there is simply rook b3, though, and I should be in time with counterplay. I gotta be honest, he's gonna <laughs> sort of... get some uh, defense on that side. So it may not be as obvious as I initially thought. May not be obvious at all. Damn it! How did this happen? Okay, I need to get my knight onto a4. How the hell does that happen? Like this, but h5. Am I getting mated? Do I have g5, knight h3, f6? If I get my knight to a4, we might be winning, so I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit. It may also be a losing idea. But uh, we will find out. I could play solid and just try to hold, but that's not how I play here. Also, I may be accidentally preparing e5. That I did not realize, and it may be a decent move. Yeah, look at this. So takes, takes, rook d2. You could even play knight d3. Uh, takes takes no so e5 takes takes rook d2 maybe rook b5 it doesn't feel like he's in actually in time with any attack so i may just keep pushing if i just play knight a4 queen b6 i win can i just take yeah why not <gasps> his queen is coming ah you alex Panzer, you idiot I forgot about that. You should watch out for your opponent's ideas. Ooh, that is pretty dirty. I shouldn't have taken. I just said I'm going to go g5, but I didn't. I just feel like, ah, there's no attack. Oh, my. Can I just go g6, though? What is wrong with that? Queen g5, queen d8, maybe. Or maybe knight a4. And he has some sort of perpetual? Question mark? Oh, wow. What is that? He's playing for rook e5. Oh, did I just completely blunder this shit? He was screaming blunder, bitch, and it happened. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna get made it. Wow. Ah, that was just one careless move. I had to push g5 and I knew it. Taking was horrific. No, g6 was the losing move. Oh, I had to sacrifice my queen. But I thought it's bad anyways. Yeah, so g5 was best, but apparently it was only equal. I mean, I don't understand how this happened. Like, he had no attack. <laughs> he, like, unironically had no attack. <gasps> I don't know how I got mated. Huh. Something is strange. But, I mean, he did play pretty well defensively. I just can wait here. I was considering, actually, knight h5 during the game. It's a shitty position, because you just have to... <laughs> ...make a draw. But, oh, man, I should have played this, and actually, it is still quite complicated. Like, I was considering something like this, and I would have probably blundered with this. But, yeah, f4 now would win for him, because there would be a brilliant move. 
Okay, that's actually pretty sick. I wonder what the uh, accuracy he got. Okay, he got 95. He played okay. I mean, I didn't really feel like this was anything special, but I guess he just uh, played mediocre moves and then I made a stupid blunder. I could have... Um, yeah, like even <laughs> here, if I just go queen e7, I didn't realize like he is actually threatening. I mean, I realized, but I play g6. So I could defend with queen move anywhere. This would have been okay. Man, this is just so idiotic of me. Why don't you stop it? He had one idea and I play g6 for some reason. Horrific move. This just lost the game. If I play queen d8, there's there's like not much attack. I could still continue my ideas. Although, pretty scary. Pretty scary. I think he had like easier game overall, but yeah. Super happy with my opening though. I felt super comfortable. But yeah, when they play 95, I guess. Not much you can do. You could make a draw, but not more than that. Yo, Duku! Nah, it wasn't weird. I knew it was coming. Big shout out, guys. Uh, we do have a Grandmaster in the chat. Shout out to Duku Gavrilescu. Are you playing the tournament in the weekend, What, by the way? He is probably playing the weekend tournament that I did uh, brought up before this round, so... I may actually uh, use him as my uh, cameraman. Every Grandmaster is actually a pretty good cameraman. It does require, you know, <laughs> high level of uh, IQ. Wait, this is round four. Uh, so shitty to lose right before the break. So we were on a pretty high horse, starting with two wins, playing brilliant chess, and then just... Got absolutely <laughs> toasted twice in the Karu Khan. Screw the Karu Khan. Screw the Karu Khan. <laughs> what a horrendous opening. We should all start playing something innocent like the cow. Why bother with so much fury when you could just get away with, you know. Andrea just texted me. Wait a second, guys. Uh, did we have, uh, do we already have pairings for the Arasia Vic tournament? Nah, not yet. So you guys really think I should be playing in the weekend tournament? I gotta actually make up my mind uh, tonight about that. I gotta announce the organizer if I do play. <laughs> you got a good YouTube video from this game? <laughs> I'm gonna take down his video. From now... If I get mentioned in any YouTube video, I'm copyright striking every motherfucker. <laughs> the kid's probably like 12 though. I shouldn't be talking like this about him. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not the one striking. I'm the one who's getting striked. Usually at least. Alex, do you accept new students for private lessons somewhere? So the thing is, uh, I haven't done lessons in like the last four months, basically, just because I'm trying to work full time on the Jobava course. Um, and we definitely made like a lot of progress on it. It's just that uh, I estimate to have mm, roughly 100, 200 hours uh, more to work on it, to annotate the model games. Basically, the way I did the calculation, I was kind of expecting to take around um, 
an hour per model game to like make the text. I started with the first game. I'm like three hours in. Probably will be done soon, just the first game. So I actually don't really know how much it's gonna take, but I'm not gonna rush it because I want it to be perfect. So yeah, I haven't done any lessons in a while. And we'll do again, at least when I finish this damn course that I've been working on for a year by now. But uh, damn. <laughs> it's such a, it's such a like long journey. What if I like die in the next two months somehow and the course never gets published? That would be pretty tragic. I mean, so much work would go to shit. I expect the course to take in total like 1000 hours of work. That would be pretty, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. This is a long time. <laughs> it is a long time, but I've been like really perfecting it. So actually quite, uh, quite frankly speaking, <laughs> only like two months ago, I think by now I decided on like a major variation. I did like a major change because I was like still thinking about uh, what's like easier to play. And I was normally the kind of guy who always played knight b5 in this position instead of e3. But because black can actually be sneaky and go for stuff like e6 if they are like French players, you'll have to learn this kind of positions anyway. So there is no knight b5. And then I came up, okay, I came up with the idea that... Um, for most people, it would just be easier to learn E3 and have it against anything. And frankly speaking, I've been doing really well with E3 uh, instead of Knight B5. Okay. Come on, give us a round. What is up with this awkward silence? We want to play some chess. Do you think it'll be ready by this year? Oh, it should definitely be ready by this year. Uh, it should actually be close to ready in like two months from now, I think. That's what I'm working on uh, full time, basically. Now I'm also coaching Andrea in the Asia Vic tournament, which like <laughs> really takes a bit of my free time. But the fact that she's playing Jabava London only and uh, is gaining over 100 rating points over the board makes it feel pretty good. So... Cannot really complain about that. Uh, okay. Is this actually like how long the round usually takes? It's actually pretty crazy. Play me? <laughs> you were challenging me, weren't you? The Finnish guy. <laughs> Shall we play some viewers? <laughs> All right, white pieces. Time for redemption. Give us a Jabava. Don't do anything uh, stupid. Please. No G6, no Fianchiaro. Give us a Jabava. Okay, here we go. One year, I've been preparing this position like a madman. I just mentioned E3, the new find. What would be the odds to lose this game? Shall we just like not publish the course if we lose this game. I feel like that's... That would be common sense. Okay, 94. This is so stupid. It's such a horrendous move. How can you play that Ashuk? Now I have no fury. I'll probably start playing like... Like a Beluga. Mm, can I take... Can I take there? Oh, Jesus, I could also play Bishop D3. This is like such a bad move. I cannot express it. All right, screw this. Give me the bishop. Take the knight, I'm gonna keep the bishop. Okay. You got a bad bishop, I got a good bishop. You got a weak pawn, I have no weak pawns. We shall be better. I shall play faster, stronger. Da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. F5, 
even plays in the Dutch style. Clear sign of liking pain. Okay, how do we punish? This can't be a bad move, surely. Okay, he's not threatening any attack, so I'm just gonna castle. I could also play f4, just, you know. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. That's such a bad move. Why would you play that, Alex Panzer? That does not make any sense. Ooh, d5. He's got a pawn diamond. But it's horrendous. But he's got a pawn diamond. <laughs> but it's so bad. Can I play f4? Yeah, fuck it. No, it has to be good, because I get my pawn into e5. <laughs> Look at these pawns. Man, it's like... My pawns are doing a handshake with his... Pawn diamond. Look at this. Everybody is doing a circle here. Wow. <laughs> what a position. Just peak chess right here. Okay. I've prepared one ear. Full time. Not doing anything. Not having any social life. And I still <laughs> have no idea what this position is about. Okay, bishop e5. I just want to get rid of that knight so I can get my permanent horse into e5. He's going to go knight e7, though. He's got a massive problem with chess understanding if he does not play it. There he goes. Uh, hmm. Should I still play it? Knight e5, knight g6. I'm not sure if I want to take it, to be super honest with you. Yeah, that was a dumb move on mine, maybe. I'm just going to accept the mistake and go back. That would be a mature thing to do and play c4 after. Yeah. Probably better than just getting my bishop, you know, misplaced. I should have just played c4 right away on previous move with his knight on c6. But yeah, it's, to be honest, his knight on g6 is not like doing anything really. Could make sense for him to go back or yeah. Oh. That I'm not super afraid of. I would rather sack the pawn. I don't really have to sack, but it's kind of what an alpha male would do. Am I an alpha male? What do you guys think? Of course no. Of course no. I'm just gonna play safe chess. I like my chess safe. I don't like to be down a pawn. I'm going to play b3 and just have a risk-free advantage. Why would I have a, you know, gambling problem when I can have a risk-free advantage? Oh man, I can also take with a pawn. That's also pretty good with rook b1 coming. Rook b1 and the 95. Yeah, I got to take these juicy pawns. Taking with the bishop, looking at the weakness was also nice, but yeah, bishop c6, 95. I can get rid of that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, rook b1, bishop f3 coming. We're getting in control. Bishop e4 is bad because of the fork. Knight there should be bad. According to all the rules of chess. Gonna do this. Gonna take. Gonna play bishop f3 after. Ooh, this is... We're getting in the zone. Could do queen a4 or bishop f3. Not clear which one is better and why. Uh, okay, maybe just queen here. Now I'm going to start it simple. I don't want to commit with a queen too early. Okay, now this is tempo. Okay, d5. Can also do endgame. Shall I do endgame? Can I take? I can also do this. He wants rook b6. Takes, takes. d5, e5. Hmm. Fine. Let's do endgame. I don't know how I feel about it. Probably take rook d8, uh, rook c8, I got bishop d7, I got a trap. And then I win rook. Can I win his rook? Can I get his rook on the skewer? He's not going to blunder that, but would be hilarious. Would be pretty funny. Yeah, that was a good move, defending against it. Ah, oh, shit. What to do? What to do? Rook b3, rook c8. Okay, bishop back, c5. Push them pawns. Uh, hmm. 
I don't know what to do. Push them pawns. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. Ah, he has rookie seven. That was unfortunate. What? What? He doesn't have to take it. Shit. Bro! What? He did Harakiri! Come on! Take that pawn! Hey! Why did I do that? Don't choke it. So bad. So bad, but uh, okay. Damn. Imagine not winning this and having to like... <laughs> quit the Jobava course. The pressure was really mounting. I got an 82. I got winning then, I made the stupid blunder. Oh, I could have lost the end game. Oh. No, I should just not play king f3. I should play king d3. That is obvious. I just like panicked. King 3 is by far the best move. I shouldn't give him this tempo. Because he could have actually uh, punished me with f3. I knew something is off. <laughs> Good luck catching this guy. Because you're not. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I mean, jokes aside, what the heck was 94? <laughs> that takes some uh, real cojones. Just being, uh... honestly, his opening wasn't even that bad. What do I know? Yeah, the most proud move that I am of this game, Bishop E2. Just accepting my mistake. Not having uh, ego and playing uh, bishop back. That's the kind of move uh, a 1000 would never make. Okay? <laughs> the 1000 would play c4, a4, and then get his bishop trapped. I can uh, tell you that for sure. Because they don't want to accept their own mistakes. So you should. That's why you're going to be better than a 1000. So I was really kind of expecting to play I was considering c4, but yeah, there was no no need. And even taking with the bishop was actually quite interesting. This was low-key very nice, because there's 95. Yeah, that would have been like 95. <laughs> yes. The Finnish guy really wants to... <laughs> Take a bite. Oh, we got a game. And I managed to join in time without losing 30 seconds. Pog? Is this actually a sign of winning? Okay. Facing against an international master. Mr. Alfonso Llorente. Playing the orangutan. B4. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we Effing go. The orangutan, huh? Okay. I gotta be honest. That does take me a little bit out of book. Honestly speaking. But I'm gonna play like a naughty boy. I'm gonna allow uh, double pawns for absolutely no reason. Oh, actually, I don't have to. But yeah, he took it and we'll check. Yeah, I have to move knight back and then I could take whatever way. If I take with the queen, he wants knight c3, but maybe queen d4 is interesting for me. Trying to say we have a slightly better endgame if he takes. 
I don't know why, but feels like a better end game because I'm having an extra piece developed. Maybe because he played one before. I don't know. Could be a reason. Could be some reason. Come on, bitch. Blunder something. Blunder the fork. Didn't happen. Okay, so he wants e3, d4. So maybe it makes sense to play c5. And in case he does that, he will have an isolated pawn. Hmm. Yep. I'm gonna play it. Una batalla del centre. Okay, a6. Please take. Una zucando con centre. Okay, this is pretty good. Ooh. I could take. Could also play simple move. He wants rook g1 on that, then win back g7, so I'll have to just defend. Like a good boy. And then get castled. Yeah. A5, is that actually doing anything or is just creating a weakness for himself? I would say it's creating a weakness for himself because I have C4. So yeah, he does not complete that silly maneuver. Oh, knight g4 could be actually pretty funky. Yeah, I'm going to play rook d8 and uh, I could actually make the argument that knight g4 could be a move here. Can it be a move? I don't know. This game's kind of weirding me out. <laughs> Maybe I should just play b6. Like a normal human being and not allow a5. So he fix, uh, he's going to fix my pawns for no reason. I'm going to play b6 now. I could also play knight d5 coming to b4. Is the trade of knights in my favor? I don't see how it's not in my favor, so maybe it is. I want to do this. He's got a weak pawn. A5 can be met by B5. I think I should be comfortable. Probably F5 next. For that juicy central control. C4, D4. I don't see a follow-up. Maybe rook A5, rook B4, B5, but that's not having a threat. So maybe this, maybe some rook G6. Rook can be multi-purpose here. This. Rook d1. Okay. Um, Alright. This is complicated as hell. Uh, this is really complicated as hell. I don't know what to do. I guess bring the king. <laughs> yeah. I'll bring it all the way to c7. Try to babysit this pawn. Okay, give, give him isolated pawn. Cannot be bad. Uh, maybe f4. Nah, that's kind of weakening. Maybe this move. Mm -hmm. I can kind of play b5 if I want to, like, get rid of it. Huh. May have missed rook g5. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. I got the outside passer, but this king's trying to get to my pawn, which is hell of annoying. Uh, okay, I got this move though, and then king d5. h4, rook g3, or g6? Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. It's like we're both stuck in the same washing machine. 
damn it. Uh. Ooh. Okay. No, this is so complicated. I want to play g5 and rook f4, but like, <laughs> not entirely sure how that helps. No, I think I'm lost now that he got his rook behind. Damn it. Damn it, rook from behind. Oh man. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I fought better than ever, but lost like, uh, like usual. Come on, promote. Blunder something, bitch. Promote. He cannot promote because it's a stalemate. That would have been like hilarious, <laughs> actually. <laughs> no. Why do they never blunder against me? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was like slightly better this end game, but I just had no time and didn't know how to proceed. Can we get like a game review? Man, would have been a nice stalemate there, but he had plenty of time, so he realized. If I played faster, maybe he can fall for it, but yeah. Man. All right, all right, guys, I'm doing my best. I'm trying, really, okay? But when guys play like 96 for 100 moves, I'm just a human, okay? They show up playing 1b4 and then they play 96 for 100 moves. What do you want me to do? I'm just a poor soul like yourself. I think we showed pretty good resistance, <laughs> considering the level of my opponents. I mean, all right. I think that was not too bad, honestly, at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, uh, can you message me on uh, chess.com, Pamela? I think that would work. Mm. Hmm. I'm sorry, guys. Would have been kind of weird if I, like, uh, went against this guy. I <laughs> think that would have raised some suspicions, but I feel like I played so good for, like, so long, but then it was just not enough because he was, like, outclassing me. Zero Fs given. Just, uh, you know, isolated pawn. I mean... It should be a pretty trivial draw, but yeah, I should just, I, I was just freaking out because he's going to go king e4, but what should I do instead? Oh, this, yeah, I started attacking the wrong pawn. If I play rook a5, this would have been easier because if we make the trade this way, it's a different story. Yeah, this was losing mistake, actually. Quite instructive. I played rook g5. Attacking the wrong pawns. Rook a5 would have been easy draw, I think. Uh, okay. D4. Knight f6. Knight f3. G6. Ooh. Fianchetto. Spicy. Double Fianchetto. Even more spicy. I'm going to play uh, 97c6. Rook e1, e5. c4, I have to play rook... Uh, 
Do I have to play Rookie? I could also play Queen C7. Huh. How come I already forgot? Hmm. I know I kind of always play Rook so I'm just gonna do that. I had a game the other day with this move. Yeah, so Rookie 1, he just wants to wait for the trick. But can he actually trick me? Knight e5, I have knight g4. Knight e3, takes, 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 queen f6. Okay, I don't believe this. I think he's bluffing. I think he thinks he trapped me, but I think I got him at the end of the day. I think we're actually, if he takes twice, yeah, he didn't. <laughs> no, I was winning in that line. I'll show you after the game. There is a nice uh, trickerino. Okay, just e4 and be better. Why not? I like to be better with black. That's pretty nice. Then I think, do we just play knight b6? Or knight f8? Both moves. I guess knight f8 is more like human. Kind of want to like uh, bring the knight over. Typical for king's Indian attack kind of positions. So yeah, now uh, either bishop g4 or h5. Yeah, I'll start h5. Maybe bishop could be nice to protect the pawn if needed. Okay, so h3. That can be a target to this kind of mambo jumbo. Okay. Go knight! Will he play h4? <laughs> that would be funny. He could, I mean. It's a legal move. Uh, okay, h4, I got bishop g4, knight f3, which should be crushing, so he just does that. Fine by me. Okay, I, I mean, I think we should be, like, getting a crushing attack unless I fuck up royally. Gotta take that. Okay. I mean, that just helped me, because queen b3, I mean, I can start harassing the bishop, so I'm not sure why taking was such a nice thing to do for white. Yeah, queen a4. Hit in the desert, as we call it. Yeah, can I just go queen c8? I just want to put pressure there. Hmm. Also, knight g4 would be like such a hilarious move. Takes, takes, and then like knight f3 coming. No, he has rook h1. I'm just like fantasy land right now. Also, maybe just bishop f8, bishop d6. Wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. Improving bishop. Yeah, bishop a3, I have a trap. Bishop d7 may win. Because his bishop is lost. Ah, he has queen a6 that I forgot about. But then I have rook e6. Yeah. Yep. Queen b3, I got uh, rook b8. So yeah, this. I think we're winning the bishop unless I'm fucking crazy. Um, okay. That's a bishop. That's nice. Resign? No? Okay, that's a queen. Can I trap his queen? Bro, that's like unironically a free queen. But I want to take the bishop. <laughs> but then he takes on d5. I should just take his queen, no? I feel like I should just take the damned queen at this point. What kind of man ignores a queen? Okay. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm also going to get a mating attack pretty soon. Queen c8 coming. I said queen c8 coming. Boom. Okay, my opponent <laughs> doesn't really care about his king. I mean, didn't really care much about the queen, so king doesn't make a whole difference, I guess. Oh, the queen is coming. And that is pretty nice. Night of the also wins. But yeah, that's a nice little... Removing the key defender. And then the checkmate. So, okay.
He played pretty poorly, but I did play pretty well. Okay, give me some credits. I think that was not too bad. Did you guys like that game? I left the Harry Crozen to watch you? Oh, man. Don't tell him, though. <laughs> but, oh, man. <laughs> oh, look at that. 97. Bzzz. 97. Bzzz. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty good. Finally, a decent game. So, basically the trick that I had in mind, and it's actually critical for this specific variation when he has the Rook on E1, is that if he takes uh, twice, basically if you just recapture, he's got the Queen trade, and then picks up the Knight. So I'm going to be just down upon without like any compensation here so i would have of course uh played knight g4 here reminding him of the pin and normally the only way to get out of this is knight d3 but here is the trick because his rook is on e1 f2 is weaker so i can actually take and then i think i can double attack there's no way for him to like defend both because knight d3 would hang the rook Let's see if computer uh, agrees. Uh, yeah, 95, 9 g4 is pretty bad for white already. 93 just loses. He didn't allow it, but the way he played in the game, I got like such a nice attack, d5. B4, I mean, h3 was kind of weird. <laughs> 9 g5. Ah, queen d7 I didn't really consider. Would have been interesting. I just developed... Taking twice was definitely making things worse for him on the queen side. And then, uh, yeah, h4 is interesting. I guess g4 you can already start sacrificing. I didn't really think of this, but yeah, it looks killing. If bishop h1, for instance, you can do queen d6 and there's no way to like stop mate. Yeah, queen f6 apparently and knight f3 mates. Yeah, he has to take and then you mate. So, I played bishop f8 just with the idea that, okay, I could go h4 and then the bishop comes and then it's much more obvious that the checkmate happens. But he went there and yeah, as I thought, he should be losing a piece now. The main point being queen b3, rook b8, there's no way to keep the bishop defended. So he's just lost. That was pretty straightforward. <laughs> I left Dania for this big mistake. <laughs> Agreed. Why would you ever do that, Raymond? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I've never seen you look so serious. What do you mean? I got uh, I got my career on the line. In the videos, you guys see only the highlights. Like I play 10 games, I lose 9, and then I post 1. Here? Man, I cannot blunder like in my spare time. This is, streaming is a very serious business. Okay, you cannot joke about that. Awesome trapping the queen. Thank you, Steven. Appreciate the kind words. Uh, okay. King's Indian positions are so complicated at times. Indeed, they are. King's Indian is the hardest opening ever. Are we in the right lobby? Four more rounds. Can we actually play against the Grand Monster? We played against the Grand Monster earlier and we lost. Did you pre-move knight f3 here, though? <laughs> no, I didn't pre-move it. I, I try not to pre-move. Pre-move, it's confusing the viewers. <laughs> Doko. <laughs> you know, if I'm on a bag 
losing streak with my beloved Jabava London too. I don't know what bag losing streak means. They're probably not playing it well, man. Let me show you one of my Jabava games from earlier today. Oh, shit. I shouldn't leave the playing venue. Oh, damn it. Can I, like, open a new page? Yeah. So, actually, it's a game that I believe I ended up losing today. I, I haven't, like, played serious chess in a while. Um, I just, like... Uh, yeah, I play, like, two games a day or something to kill time. I just study. But, so I had this game where my opponent played h5. So this rarely happens, but I was aware of it. And uh, I knew pretty much everything until like here. So usually I just go like a bozo, I sacrifice and then I get like two pawns. But apparently this is kind of like unclear. And then I just realized uh, today's morning that uh, I thought, you know, in these kind of positions, h5 seems to be more of like a hook that you could play for. And my understanding of this was that you can just play g4 and play positional. But no, after takes, in the game I took, okay? But it turns out you can actually sack now. Because if he goes uh, with the king on f8, now you basically forced him into playing something he does not want. Because now uh, your rook can join. And you win. And also, his king has to go to f8 here to, like, not allow queen g7. So this would have been forcing. I had a win in my hands, basically. I just didn't know of this trick, which is very rare. So, like, no matter how long you're studying something, I feel like you can always, uh, let's say, get better. That was a nice little epiphany moment from this morning. Oh, playing against uh, an IM down a minute. I mean, he really needs that time edge because I'm going to play the Jabava London. Here we go. Okay. All right. Bishop d6 expected. Knight f3. We'll take if he does. Bishop d3 if not. If b6, knight, e knight e5 is a good move. c5, I'm happy to, more than happy to play this structure. It's my favorite thing to do. This is better than uh, best thing since uh, sliced bread. Or how they say it. Okay, e4. Yeah, h6. I'm gonna push. I'm gonna play queen d2. Very booked up. Not gonna lie. Very familiar territory. Imagine if I lose this in very familiar territory. I should just cancel the course if I manage to lose this. What kind of offer will I be if I cannot win with my own variations? That would be... That'd be silly. Okay, knight h5, nobody plays against me though. Now I'm like freestyling, but the knight is kind of poorly placed. g4, like huge frat, so he has to play f6, I'd imagine. But then bishop g6. His horse is trapped! Wow. That's pretty wild, so maybe f5. Has to do f5, but then his horse is also not too happy. Wow, f5, how do I punish? How do I punish? I also should not say disrespectful things of my opponent because he's in chess.com staff. I mean, she just blundered. He's gonna get two pawns and I guess it's a bit tricky, but I thought I should just be winning. <laughs> uh, yeah. More time than my opponent. I told you he needed that minute. Okay. What to do now? Now when I have to make moves on my own? It gets tricky. This is the only move, though. I feel like I have to play it. It's just, uh, yeah. Unlucky if I'm getting toasted somehow. It should be 3d4 I can take. Otherwise, the trade seems to be to my advantage. Key move. Hmm... <laughs> Don't I have anything? No. Maybe this. Ah, I forgot about that. My bishop's undefended. Wait a minute. Takes, 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 takes. Hikaru mode? You gotta play it. 
Probably not good though. But I'm threatening B3 if he doesn't take. I don't know what I'm doing and I also would have really loved to have another minute in this position because I deserved it. It was my minute but I just showed up late to the game. Classic me. King F2, Rook F4, King E2. Can you survive like that? Also, King F2, there is check. And that's not good, is it? No, I have G3. Takes and I have the other knight. Okay, let's go. King F2. Oh my god, this is so idiotic. He's gonna go Queen B6. Forget about that. I just checked the other nonsense. Oh man, I just look like a clown right now. I just look like the biggest clown. I should have played King F2. Ah, that was such a bad move. I could have defended with the queen. Oh man, is it too late? Is it too late to apologize? I could do Queen D2, Rook F4, King E2. I gotta defend this. There's no other way. E5, G3. And then I try to get my horse around it. So here, what am I missing? If check, I got C4. Ah, this I was missing. This I was missing. Go back. Give me some hope. <sighs> okay. It's not over. Yet. It's not over yet. That was a bad trade. Trying to activate my pieces, but not too much activity, frankly speaking. And uh, I'm getting uh, attacked. Not good. Uh, I blunder rookie for. I didn't see it. I'm probably gonna get made it now. Yeah, that's made. How do people blunder a knight and still beat me? Isn't this kind of tilting? Like, wouldn't you be tilted if your opponent just hung a knight and then wins? But taking it was not good. He hung it, but that was not like good for him. Although that's not an excuse for playing the horrendous move f4. Uh, I should have just played knight b5. Damn it. Okay, so I gotta be honest, I was not sure. I knew bishop d2, but I didn't know how didn't know how to follow up because basically nobody plays knight h5. Like, why would you ever play knight h5? And f6, like the best way to punish it apparently would have been knight h4. Huh. Yeah, f6 was so bad, such a bad move. Yeah, I played this because I saw it in advance. But like on f5, how do you play against this? That one kind of confused me. I don't know. Very enjoyable Tuesday so far. <laughs> K 
Kramnik ended his stream. <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> I'm still like three more rounds to go. Three more. Pretty rough event. I gotta say, my opponents, my opponents played very well and getting a bit unlucky with like the things that are getting played also. So F5, I gotta, um, I gotta do some analysis here. It's just nobody ever plays like this. It should be bad. Like why would you put your knight on H5, but <laughs> yeah, you gotta lose it against a few times until you learn it. Damn it. I'm not super sure what would really be the way. If you play knight e1, he has queen h4. Because g6 basically kind of blunders h6. So the computer sort of likes g3, it seems. And if bishop d7, knight e1, bishop e8, that's actually not helpful because of this. His knight's always problematic. Mm. Okay, knight h5 uh, was a bad move, but it was a great move because he got me out of prep. So, what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? I've been here uh, from near the start. I just like popping into random streams random streamers from time to time. Appreciate you calling out my randomness, Mr. Harry. I saw what you did there. That's very humoristic of you to do so. Just wait until we manage to win one game with the Jubava London. We'll be <laughs> in the next Forbes magazine, <laughs> probably. I lost a whole minute, yeah, because I just explained you a brilliant epiphany moment that I had earlier in the day. I hope you guys feel educated. <laughs> Can we expect more kings in the NVIDIA? Have you seen the one that I just posted like three days ago? I like genuinely posted the video three days ago about the kings Indian. But yes, we can expect more because it's the only opening I play and I sort of understand how to play it. This event is cursed for both of us. How many points do you have, Duku? I'm on 50%. <laughs> My goal is to just be solid. If I can get 50%, you know, it's a respectable result. I'm not losing ELO so far. Like, my ELO is a bit uh, low. It could be like 100 points higher, but I haven't focused on playing in a long, long time. I like that video, but I don't understand kid. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, you're trolling. <laughs> There's no way you watch my King's Indian video. But yeah, you should play King's Indian though. I feel like it would uh, suit you well. The guy from the chat, Doku Gavi is uh, calculating like a machine. I unironically think he should play King's Indian, but he only plays Rogozin and, you know, solid openings, to put it mildly. Okay, this is round eight, so uh, now we will be waiting again for like uh, an eternity. I did, but that opening is too hard. Nah. I think it's pretty easy. <sighs> I don't know. Did you like actually try to ever play it? I mean, 
it's easy for strong players, not for newcomers. Just to say that. What I love about the King's Indian is that you can actually win games with it against low rated opponents. That is one of the best things about it by far. Uh, what's a good counter for King's Indian? With Tartak over opening? Wait, what? <laughs> that sounds like uh, you're asking me how to cook a nice meal using uh, jellyfish. How does that make any sense? Maybe you can eat jellyfish. But I kind of have a feeling it's poisoned. <laughs> Don't try that at home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Still no game. Not really, never studied uh, the opening seriously. I mean, for a fair price, I could coach you, you know? I'm not living too far away from you, Dooku. I'm just kidding, obviously. <laughs> I'm not going to coach the grandmasters. The grandmasters are strong enough to coach themselves. So, uh, all right. I'm going to go D4. I've eaten jellyfish. Not that bad. Okay, double white. Got to focus on the game. Jabava London. We need redemption. And in order to get redemption, I need to finish this game with more than three minutes on the clock. I'm going to try to pre-move every move. Should be doable considering the amount of ridiculous hours I've put into studying this. Knight f3? <sighs> okay. Still in the goal? So far? Theory? I've had this on numerous occasions. Uh, I don't know about that really, but I guess keep developing. f6, queen h5 wins. Not sure about castling. Okay, I should think now. I can't play this quickly. I feel like he's doing some nonsense here that I want to be able to punish. Uh, queen g4, not sure I want to play it. Queen f3. Doesn't work, really. I could take on c6. Weird. Very, very weird. Hmm. Does this make sense? Takes takes g6 and probably not. Hmm. Yeah, he may be playing a good line that I don't know. Maybe the case. Wow. That's so rare that uh, I get surprised here. What should you play? I feel like I cannot keep my knight, but... Then that's tragic. Mm. Yeah, damn it. I'm not going to try to refute something irrefutable. <laughs> I'm just trying to reinvent the wheel at this point. I should just be making moves. Your boy got to make some moves. Uh, okay. Can I do this? Can he push a5? I'd like to do a bit of maneuvering. Like this would be nice, but I probably am not gonna be in time. Maybe e5 I can take and get a knight to d4. Yeah, actually that's nice. I mean, if I get to do anything that I want, I might get an edge, but not easy. Okay, so he wants e5. He's going to give me d4 square. I'm just going to do this, maybe preparing some a4 and d5. I'm going to take and put a knight on d4. Just want to stick a knight in there. Huh. He plays bishop d7. 
Can I do knight c1, e5, takes twice and queen d4? Yeah, that's actually not too shabby. We're going for it. Uh, yes. Yes. He shouldn't take, but I get uh, my knight onto c5, so... Maybe a little bit of something. Should I care about his knight g4 idea? Probably not, but I'm gonna play it for safety measures. Nah, I'm gonna play knight d3 with queen f4, perhaps. Or with knight f4. Yeah. Knight g4, I feel like just that. Okay, knight c5. I can also do queen e5. I could also do knight f4. Is there a chance he breaks with c5? He might. Yeah, I'm just gonna like keep an eye on this pawn. Break with a4. Create a weakness. Okay. So he's getting in the position. This is good. He's no longer aggressive. Probably gotta take and go to k5. Try to get an outside passer. Probably the best bet here. Hmm. Will the outside passer be enough? Mm, we'll find out. Rook a5 takes, takes queen a6 he wants. Yeah, it's whatever. We should try it still. If he doesn't take, I just get to win the file for free, pretty much. I hope my pawn is not going to become a target. But yeah, if he gets in c5, I could be, you know, it could complicate. In my calculation, he was not getting c5. But also, you should not trust my calculation, really. I do not trust it, so I don't know why would you trust it. Uh, okay, maybe keep an eye on this pawn, preparing queen b4. I could make a luft anytime. Uh, okay, doing nothing. Queen c5 is nice. Uh, wait, I could do maybe queen b4 to have everything defended. Yeah, make a luft. Maybe queen d6, play for back ranker could be more annoying. If rook 8, I got a6, making progress. Huh? Queen b8, queen c8. Okay. I don't want to trade. I gotta keep the queens. Queen b8, queen c8, queen back. No, just back to c5, I guess. I missed that idea he had. Ah, oh, I missed this too. Still think I should be good here. F4 and then the king goes to c5. I got the outside passer. I just have no time. He cannot play c5 because b5 hangs. Not anymore. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know anymore. Completely bungle this. Ah, he can check me. I missed that. Okay, we tried. I felt like I was outplaying him, but then uh, I kind of missed at some point. I never really had like a winning advantage. Like this was nice. Oh, I had C4. Ah, I also considered F4. F4 was the winning move here, I think. 
I should have gone more aggressive on the king side. But computer really likes c4 because you cannot take there to this. Yo, we got some wild chatters. <laughs> okay, there is not much moderation around, so I don't know. You guys, you guys tell me if I should do anything. Just played perfectly. Is that wrong now? I mean, I had C4, very good chance, but even better practical chance. I feel like F4 should have been a good move. But the opening really weirded me out. Like, knight f d7, I've never seen in this position. That was pretty wild. The knight c6, so I took. I mean, I played positional. I got like a nice little edge. I did my maneuvers, boring him to death. And yeah, this is like nice. Nice position. I did the right thing going for the outside passer, it felt like. But then, uh, yeah, I should probably either go e4 or maybe some f4. Yeah, I should go. The thing is, you cannot win on one side of the board. So this should have been kind of natural to me. I just didn't really realize this in the heat of the game. The problem is I cannot really expand. Like the play would be some h3. And if he does like uh, the move he played in the game, some sort of queen b7 or something. Then maybe I could try g4, something of this nature. Or no, he may try queen a to attack the pawn, what am I saying? Yeah, maybe I just didn't really have much here at all. But yeah, I felt like I was close, but then I was just like worse at the end. It was very tricky to play. <laughs> but rook a5 gave me decent activity. He had to play c4 and probably win comfortably, but then it was just a draw. Yeah. I could play h4, <laughs> but I'm never beating him that in game. <laughs> Even up a pawn. So yeah. Peak. Just said it's peak. That's what you guys are witnessing. Did I win any Jabava games this stream? It felt like a really rough Jabava day. Alex can either become a GM or get married. I recommend uh, the later. <laughs> Do you want to marry me? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't know if I want to marry you. I don't know if I like you. Okay, knight c3. Uh, okay. Here we go, chatters. Here we go. It's gonna be a rough day for Jabava. <laughs> what can I say? I'm gonna play the Grunfeld setup. Simply want to take next knight c6. Bishop f5. He could do g4, but I don't think it's so good. Not entirely sure why. I mean, I think that Roditsky maybe has some games with g4 in this position, but it's not good. If bishop e2, knight b4, I studied this position, so he probably should try g4. But I think I gotta take here first, unless I'm forgetting things. Okay, a3. So he stops knight b4, but I got different ideas here. Maybe queen a5 was one of them. Uh, hmm. What was I supposed to play? Because if I take and then I just play knight d7, can he go queen d5? Um, or is it just simply a6? 
I feel like a6 is a bit slow for this kind of position. Is there any chance I could play knight d7? Knight d5 and then takes? Huh, interesting. Yeah, maybe knight d7 it's a move here actually. But maybe g4? Oh man, wish I had more time. Um. Okay. You gotta make a move, dude. You gotta really make a move. Um. So I'm gonna try something funky. No, he just took with a bishop. <laughs> all the time I thought he would take with the pawn. I just spent all my time calculating bullshit. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe a6, b5. Okay. Gotta call the Blavsky. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. It's gonna... Man, it's gonna be impossible to defend with no time. Fuck me. No, I'm just h6, h7 and it's gg. Wow, he took. That was... Not... The move. He also played that. Probably just gonna beat me anyways. Oof, Jabava is too strong. Just too strong. Huh. I don't know exactly what I did wrong. Oh, I just lose the rook. Yeah, I'm gonna resign this. So I knew a3 is not supposed to really be such a good move because I've extensively analyzed this. But I don't really get why. No, oh, he took with a bishop. This is actually an interesting line for white. Maybe I should play like this. It's just white's play seems so easy the whole time. Hmm... So I was considering queen a5, but can't he do something like in the game? So rook c4, g4. Okay, and then I can play rook. So this is kind of what I was aiming for in the game. Like ideally, you ought to be having this exchange sack, but I was just down a move because I played this stupidity a6. That was the problem. I just played a6 here out of panic. I should ju just do queen a5. That was, I think, the decisive mistake. I played a6, but yeah. I think my opponent played okay. But, like, it's not the game that lasted so long. I mean, <laughs> very rough event. Especially this one. I haven't really made, like, an obvious mistake. The only mistake was taking. Yeah, so I wanted queen a5, but I just felt like I'm a tempo shirt. But I wasn't. Yeah, no, I should have, like, really played queen a5 in final moment. And then uh, the only way to, like, get realistic counterplay is to sacrifice the exchange in this position. Trying to get something with pawns is too slow, and opening it up is just bad here. I thought he's just supposed to play h6, h7, but no, he played simple and... Strong. I don't know why he didn't take on g6 with a queen. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> Perfect chess from my opponent. <sighs> Very good job of a lesson. Hmm. So basically what surprised me here was the a3 move. I only knew about g4 and bishop e2. But this a3, I never analyzed. And it's actually quite interesting. Maybe I should give it a try.
What are you guys saying in the chat? <laughs> Did you guys like my educational game? <laughs> Man, it's pretty rough. Not much I can do when my opponents play 95 every game. That's tricky to deal with. And I'm also pretty thirsty. I should go ahead and get some water. And we'll have uh, one more round to finish. I'm going to be playing white. So be right back. <laughs> By the way, I actually had an interesting idea in this game because I burned all my time calculating uh, takes, pawn takes. And I was actually going to go d4. I was going to play the p-sack. And actually the p-sack is not so bad. Because EF I can just recapture. Oh, recapturing is actually wild. No, I could just take. Even this one I haven't calculated properly. Wow. I should just like recap. And he cannot take my piece because of what? Oh, I haven't seen that. That would have been such a trap. Rook D1 and the pawn promotes. Wow. Okay. No, so I took... I just thought he has to take with a pawn and play for D5. Yeah. Okay, so Julian is asking if I can give any tips for over the board because whenever he plays, he feels like his brain switches off. Uh, okay, there are basically two scenarios. You're either uh, not uh, prepared well enough, which <laughs> will be 80% in my humble guess. Or the 20% uh, is that you have uh, over the board anxiety. Okay, I mean, it's normal to have like a little bit, but it's very rare that, you know, you actually understand what you're doing and you just cannot play because you're stressed out. Uh, okay, playing against the Romanian. Don't know who that is. Mm, yeah, gonna play the Jabba Valadon. Try to finish in some style. Been a pretty rough event overall. But what can I say? I mean, half of my opponents play like 95% accuracy. I'm just doing my best and just trying to have a good time together. Okay, he plays Slav. I'm going to go Pawn Storm. Trying for G4. If H5, Bishop D3. But he'll probably go E6 now. Usually people play that. Okay, Queen A5. The weirdness starts. Queen A5 doesn't make any sense, but okay. I was expecting maybe more of like a queen b6 move, but yeah. And now after bishop d3 could be even interesting to take with a pawn, but I usually don't play like that. So I'm just going to take with a queen and go knight e2. And maybe now uh, actually typical maneuver could work. I could castle, but maybe b5, b4. He's actually reasonably well placed with a queen. I can start with e4. Putting a bit of pressure in the center. So he plays passive, I guess now we just castle. B5, maybe A3. Also, yeah, Knight C1, I guess, always interesting when Queen is on A5. So he may do B5, okay, he did not. Knight G3, Knight E2, and boom on H5. That is the plan. Pretty simple plan. Okay, that's a threat. I don't think we really care. Maybe we should care. A3, B5. Huh, 
don't really like want to defend against it, frankly speaking. I could also just play bishop c1 as a nice little prophylactical move, but I don't like it. Okay, b5, I'm gonna go knight c1. So I have uh, b4, knight b3, and queen b6, knight a4, and queen b7, maybe bishop d6. Yeah, I like that. It's rare, he usually doesn't have queen a5 in these positions. Okay, he's kind of just moving <laughs> pieces without thinking. Hmm. I just want to do one thing. I want to boom on h5. That's everything we can play for here. Okay. Seems to be happening. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, so only idea, something like this. Do we really care? I guess not. Boom. I'm going to use this to defend. Usually it's kind of a very nice attack. Bit of a positional attack. Um, he wants b4. Can I trick him s somehow? Yeah, so b4. There's also e5, ba, knight f6, king f8, queen h7, but then I'm getting actually toasted. Oh man. King a2 takes b3, doesn't work because of the fork. Honestly, I might have a bad version of this. Might be just lost. Knight f6, king we have 8 simply. I don't see how I'm getting like a quick attack. Hmm. Does a4 make sense? Maybe a4 is a nice defensive move. Because if b3, I take with a fork. Yeah. Okay, maybe a for best practical try. Okay, so now we just don't care about that. And try to open him up. Knight f6, king f8, simply problematic. So I gotta take this and... Does the check help? Not really. Hmm. He's getting more attack than usual. I can feel that for sure. May he could like just play rook b8. I won't be surprised. Yeah. Here it is. <laughs> Called it. Damn. This is pretty wild. Actually wild. Come on, blunder something, bitch! I don't see how he defends it though.
I mean, was it ever really in doubt? I don't think it was uh, <laughs> ever in doubt. <laughs> that was a queen sack. <laughs> I mean, I was losing. He just he he played this like queen a five, such a strange move. And I think really the best way to punish queen a five is probably to take with a pawn, just because. With the queen on a5, you can feel like uh, if you cast along, the queen is gonna help. So, I knew this logic. I could have played it. Probably was better. I just wanted for you guys to get this kind of castle positions. But yeah. I, I was like worse. I'm not gonna lie. I, I felt it, this one didn't feel good. Like, yes, I got in the sack, but he had too many pieces over there. He had way too many pieces, but I had such a cheeky trick. Push him, baby. I could have played b3 here. No, g6, good move. Then h7. So crazy that even on b3, queen takes on c4 is completely winning. <laughs> Man, at least we ended the tournament on a high note. Okay, I gotta be honest. Everything so far was pretty horrible, but ending the game with this cheeky idea. Hey, I think it's a stylish end to a shitty event. But a very stylish end. That was actually... Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> Bro, look at this! Do you guys want to see what the game review says? <laughs> Look at this. Look at the moves. Look at this. Average title players match. Look at this. How many mistakes in a row? <laughs> you should send this to Gotan Chess and ask him to guess the ELO. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man. This is quite funny. But every single mistake comes right after the other. This is pretty funny. Look at this shit. <laughs> All right, guys. I think uh, now you don't have to feel too bad about your games. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I might be playing over the board in the weekend. For sure. I will be coaching Andrea Botes in Reykjavik. So make sure to follow their stream, too, for some Jabava London. And some anti Jubaba London speech <laughs> by uh, their lovely commentator. And yeah, you guys stay tuned. Thank you for watching.